Welcome to livingpianos.com. I'm your host, Robert Estrin, with a question from a viewer. Evan asks, how do you compose a cadenza? Cadenzas in concertos, solo pieces with orchestra typically, oftentimes have a section where the orchestra kind of dramatically stops and suddenly the soloist plays a cadenza. Now in many concertos, the cadenzas are written out. Now cadenzas are not just in concertos, they're also in solo pieces sometimes. For example, in Liszt's sixth, uh, pardon me, second Hungarian Rhapsody, there's a part near the end that says ad libitum cadenza. And indeed, many pianists play cadenzas. In concertos, the composers oftentimes write cadenzas, but just as often, there aren't any cadenzas written by the composers. And sometimes there are cadenzas that people typically play. For example, Beethoven wrote some cadenzas to Mozart concertos, and Hummel wrote cadenzas as well. So there's choices of cadenzas that are written, but suppose you want to compose your own. How do you go about that? Well, it depends upon the nature of the cadenza. For example, Evan did ask specifically about the Liszt Second Hungarian Rhapsody. You know the famous one. And I haven't played that piece in years where I'd played a cadenza. I would actually make up cadenzas, believe it or not. I didn't write one, I would improvise them. I don't necessarily recommend that, but I like to improvise, so I would like to challenge myself and do that. Here's the key, with a piece like that, what you really want to do is find techniques that you can do that are impressive sounding. Not necessarily something that's hard, but something that sounds hard, because a cadenza is supposed to be showing off your unique skills. However, I will say this, I've heard cadenzas in concertos that were so far away from the composer of the concerto that it seemed ridiculous. Like for example, you listen to a Mozart concerto and suddenly you have a cadenza that's in the style, a 20th century style. It's like, where the heck am I now? So I think having some stylistic integrity is important with cadenzas. At the same time though, showcase what you can do. You don't have to do the hardest thing in the world. You can do something that sounds hard, that lays under your hands. How would you compose such a thing? Start improvising. Just make something up that is based upon the themes and play around a lot. Over time, you'll find certain riffs that you like. Start building upon those. Before you know it, you'll have a framework and you can flesh out a cadenza for something like that list. For a full-fledged concerto cadenza, it's a bit more of a task because if you're writing a cadenza to a Haydn or a Mozart uh, concerto, you probably want to do something that sounds like the composer. No easy task. Even Beethoven couldn't do it, right? So try to have some stylistic integrity so it doesn't take you to centuries later. At the same time, do something that falls in your hands and stylistically that you like and that is a, always a good key for not just uh, composing of cadenzas, but for all composing. Use what comes naturally to you, and I think you'll be richly rewarded. I hope this is helpful for you, Evan. And anybody else, you have questions, keep them coming in. You know, I've got over a thousand videos out there at livingpianos.com. You can search them with keywords, because otherwise, how would you ever find it, right? We've got everything covered for you. Here at Living Pianos, your online piano store. Love to have you, have you subscribe and join everybody else having a good time here with piano. See you next time.